Hello and welcome RC Shim in my hangar and today I'm gonna be showing you Tanigi A-Spec Graphene a few rules to treat batteries well for the mini quads, the racing mini quads most people use four cells and most of them used these really tiny 1.3 amp hour packs I got these Tanigi A-Spec ones but they, yeah, they sounded good from the specs Back then that were on stock yeah hello back order king but they have like a really high internal resistance which shows not the best quality batteries so the amp uh, that the voltage sag if you apply full throttle on a powerful spot is quite high so those are not the best batteries but they are not the worst either turning graphene however also with 1.3 amp hours I mean you see they are they are bigger and heavier. I think this is 150 and this is 173 uh, grams. Those hold up their power really long. So I'm quite confident with the graphene's and I'm gonna keep using them. So a few rules to treat batteries well. If you fly, don't fly too long. Have a timer on your radio or even better, have an OSD that shows you the milliamps you drew out only fly as long as you still have 20% or more left in the tank after you land it. Because if you deep charge, if you deep charge the batteries, the chemistry in the cells will go wild and just destroy it. So the lifespan of the battery will be very low. On charging, uh, as a default, you should, should charge them with 1C. 1C means if this is a 1.3 amp hour battery, you should charge it with 1.3 amps. Always use a balancer while charging. I mean, it's now uh, a standard for a charger to be able to balance. Uh, this is the most secure option because if one of the cells is defective and charges too slow or too, too quickly, uh, it will get overcharged and it, will, uh, it can uh, explode or, or can uh, get on fire so use the balancer all the time use the right batteries yeah and if you buy batteries spend a few bucks extra and get the ones with the really high C rating because if you fly with with a powerful mini quad and you draw a lot of amps out of it just grab the battery after the flight and if it feels warm or hand warm it's okay but if it's really hot and if it's maybe puffed, then you're doing something wrong. So if the battery uh, reaches its, its limit of, of what it can uh, supply power-wise, then it will get hot. And if it gets hot, it, uh, the lifetime will reduce drastically. So use batteries that don't get warm or hot in flight and they will last longer. In the past, I always flew and right after coming back from my flight I used to charge all them to have them ready for the next flight. This is okay if the next flight is within one or two weeks maximum but if you charge them and store them fully charged uh, over the winter season so let's say two three months uh, of no flying with full charged batteries it will damage them as well because if this battery is 100% charged the cells are under pressure and this uh, degrades the, the chemistry in the cells as well over time. So don't have them fully charged more than two weeks. Okay, so that's, that's it for chargers and charging and batteries. If you really want to know which batteries are the best, I can not honestly give you a good comparison. I mean, I always used the Nanotechs from Turnigy. I kind of like them and lately went with the Graphene's. But for me, it's most of the time it's a matter of availability, and I see which batteries I can get from Hobby King in the European warehouse because they send it fast and they are good priced, and I just stick to whatever brand I know that that works for me. Uh, Joshua Bardwell did a really good comparison on different brands, and he really is <laughs> nerdy and statistically enhanced in measuring all the, the, the things from a battery. So maybe you want to check his, 
his battery shootouts for mini quads and also of course Bruce Simpson tests batteries and he knows all the electronics very well and he can explain you what is internal resistance, how you measure it yourselves, what does it mean, what does it do to batteries and so forth. Okay, so thanks for watching this battery uh, roundup. Uh, let me know if I spilled some complete bullshit in this video. What are your best practices? What batteries do you use? Which batteries do you prefer and why? Thanks for watching this. Hit subscribe if you didn't already, if you are new to my channel. And check back next time, next week, maybe. Yeah. See you, bye.